Assalamu alaikum and hello everyone. Welcome to Asma K9. Don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. So let's start. So friends, I'm going to show you the process of enabling RESTful Web API for Rasa platform. So keep watching this video till the end. If you are new to my channel, you can check out my other videos on Rasa platform for Windows machine. Links are available in the description. I'm using the same directory structure for the Rasa platform from my previous videos. So go to the Rasa root directory on your Windows machine and then open the source directory. Now open the credentials file in either Notepad or Notepad++. Rasa platform by default has already enabled the RESTful web API channel as you can see within this file. Save the file if any changes are made and close it. Now open the command prompt as administrator and change into rasa source directory using this command. Use this command to set your target python compiler version's necessary directory paths to windows environment path variable. Next check if python version has been changed to your target python version with the help of this command. Now enter this command to create python virtual environment if not already created. Then activate the python virtual environment with this command. Make sure the models folder is empty and then use this command to train the python rasa chatbot. Once your model is trained, use this command to enable rasa platform for the restful web api. Now let's test out the rasa restful web api requests and responses by using any restful client of your choice. I am using firefox plugin rested which is available for chrome browser as well. This api request call is http post type according to rasa documentation. So use post method here and provide the rasa platform restful web api call like this. Notice that the port number is same as I have configured at the commands call. Provide necessary headers, rasa platform does not make any authorization contract for the restful api call so you can create your intermediate wrapper api to have more control on the rasa api calls the request json packet for rasa platform looks like this so send the request and notice the response have a conversation with the bot using api calls and observe the responses So what do you guys think about rasa platform do you find it simple are you excited for my upcoming videos about rasa platform on windows machine let me know in the comment section below and subscribe to my channel for more such interesting videos thank you for watching take care and allah hafiz